morning, good afternoon, or good evening. As always, whenever, wherever, and however you're watching this, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for not scrolling by. This is our Digging Deeper, a deeper dive into this past Sunday sermon, a little hope bomb, a little hope for your hunt day, all those things. Fill in your own little blank, whatever you want to say. Um, this past Sunday, we were talking about the um, the first part of our purpose as a church to love God completely. And we talked about that as understanding that of the living out of the chief, as uh, the Westminster Catechism says, the chief and highest end of man to glorify God and enjoy him forever. That we are called to glorify God in all that we are and all that we do. There was this idea in the early church of, I don't mean a more of a reformed church, uh, quorum Deo, which means literally in the face of God or in the presence of God. And it really means essentially to live in constant awareness of God's presence and striving to align our thoughts, actions, and attitudes to his divine will, glorifying him in every aspect of life. This is what we see in scripture. We see it from the very first parts of scripture. The, the job, the role of, of us is to bring glory to God. Um, we see this when, when uh, Moses gives the first and greatest commandment um, to Israel in Deuteronomy, the, the Shema 6-4, Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one. He alone is God. And we talked about that Sunday. That was the kind of the focus. Uh, we, we had said that literally that is the Lord is our God and the Lord is alone. It's a, a phrase that set them apart from the surrounding polytheistic um religions of their space and it's not just about worshiping god above other gods it is the prohibition of any other gods at all there is only god he is your god and he alone is god and everything that we do rotates around um, that he is the center of our universe the center of our solar system and everything that we do everything that we are is to rotate and 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 live around that idea of glorifying god in uh, his first letter to the church in Corinth, Peter or Paul, Peter, Paul, and Mary, no, just just Paul, was writing to the church, and he's. And it's you can go and read the whole context of uh, the entire letter there to the church that he's writing to in Corinth. But in chapter uh, eleven or ten, rather, eight and ten, he's really unpacking this idea of of how we are to interact with uh, other Christians, how we do other things, how uh, the. Um, um, how, how do we you know, show them grace and the things that they are? Is, um, how do we keep from creating or causing another Christian to stumble? Um, it's, it, it's also part of this idea of, hey, the glorifying God is not allowing or causing other people to stumble. But in this, in chapter 10, verse 31, we have this verse. So whatever you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. And, and so that's not only instructions for how we act around other people, but how we glorify God. It's the litmus test for everything that we do. We say, hey, should I do this? Should I not do that? What, how, do, what, how do I know? Well, is God glorified in this? And, and I, as a pastor, I hear that all the time. Like, oh, should I do this? Or can I do this? Or what if I do this? And, you know, a lot of times, like, if you're having to ask the question, you probably already know the answer. That's first and foremost. But truthfully, it's that is the, the litmus test for it. Am I, how am I glorifying God in this? And if you have to do a bunch of mental gymnastics to get around that idea, I'm like, well, if I do this and this and this and this and this, then in the end, you know, that end justifies that means because I'm glorifying God. It's like, no, right off the bat, in this, on its face, prima facie, right, on, on its face value, is this glorifying God? Does it take me 30 minutes to explain to you how this is glorifying God? Or can I see right off the bat, this is why I did this, because I wanted to glorify God in everything that I did. And so as we think about our, our lives, our days, every single day, this understanding, we live every single day. We are to live every single day in the awareness of God's presence. We're already living in God's presence, but it is the awareness of God's presence that allows us or, or necessitates and causes us to strive to align those thoughts, actions, and attitudes to God's divine will to glorify him in every aspect of our life. So that is the call. That is your hope for this hump day. That is that is our prayer for all of us in the church is that we are glorifying God in all that we do. So that is why when I say, hey, get in that pit and try to love somebody, it's go out there. This world is dark. This world is dying. There's crazy things going on. Just watch the news. We're praying for all those things. 
Now, in the midst of all this, how do I glorify God? How do I point to God's glory and, and the re and reminder of his word and his power and his promises? How do I honor him in all that we're doing, trusting him, but giving him glory, that the heavens shout to his glory. He's, he's still God. He's still in control, even in the craziness. And I'm going to glorify him in this. I glorify him by having joyful in, in all circumstances, praying at all times, thankful, right? That, that living out of uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 and 18, always joyful praying in all circumstances, giving thanks at all all times, right? This is it, right? This is what, what we're called to do. And that is how we bring him glory, focusing on who he is and what he has done. And that, that allows us, quickly ending this up, to have that peace when we lean into who he is, remember, and love him completely. That is glorifying him in all that we do. So whatever we eat or drink, whatever we do, we do it to the glory of God. And, uh, just like the rest of the world, everything in creation points to the glory of God. So should our lives. That's it. That's our hope for today. Go get in the pit, live it out, glorify God, and love somebody.